This video is sponsored by Scout. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, the Happy Chappy. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, school has kept me busy, and I'm still deciding on the type of content I want to make. Anyway, let's talk about Dark Flame Closed Beta. Earlier this year, the Dark Flame Twitter posted that their New Year's resolution was to get more players in the game. A little after that, they posted again, stating Alpha 2 was the last of the alphas, and that Closed Beta is planned for later this year. We don't have any specific time or date, but at least we have a confirmed Closed Beta for this year. In case you've forgotten how you can get a chance to play the closed beta, all you have to do is pay attention to their Twitter account for when they announce they are accepting more people, or of course you can just be told when this happens by following my channel. The only other bit of Dark Flame Universe info I have is that Rain, one of the Dark Flame developers, has confirmed she will add Rainbow Dash into Dark Flame. She told me not to show you this, but here's a leaked photo of what Rainbow Dash will look like when added. <laughs> Moving on, Peter Coone needs our help. If you don't know who Peter Coone is, he is a concept designer with an impressive resume including work on LEGO Universe. Due to him losing his full-time job as a concept designer, he is asking for donations to keep him afloat. His work definitely had an effect on my childhood, and if you're feeling generous, please go check out his GoFundMe, I'll link it in the description. In other news, although I'm very late to find out, LCDR Universe selected some testers back in October to test their closed alpha. Congrats to the lucky winners, and I'm sorry I didn't let you know, um, I didn't find out until recently. However, the alpha testers haven't gotten to play yet from what I've seen, so we still don't know the state the LCDR is in. I know it's been a while, but let me mention my series, The Quest for the Best. I know it's been like literally months since the last episode, but I do plan to continue the series soon. It is a series I enjoy making, I've just been busy with other projects, but hope to continue it as soon as possible. Recommend games for me to review on the series in the comments below. Lastly, I want to let you all know about a website that is called LU Server Projects. I'll link it in the description as well. The website includes information about uh, lots of LEGO Universe projects, as well as answers frequently asked questions. It is honestly one of the best sources of LEGO Universe information, other than me and my Discord of course. Well that's all I've got for you today, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed and learned something, please consider subscribing, and here's to a great 2019. Goodbye!